Hi guys and welcome back to my Dark Souls Mage playthrough. Um, <clears throat> so it's been quite some time since I've actually played this. You won't, you won't, you guys won't know that. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and put a shield back on. Right now I do know that um, at the end of the last video I actually went out and bought some of the uh, spells. So now I've got a lot of um, spells. So I've got. Let me just show you. So I have all of these spells, and I've put the power pyromancy flame to plus nine. Now what happens is, if you put it to plus ten, E will leave and go down into the blight town, where I think it becomes hostile. But a new NPC will appear. Now I'm not going to do that just yet, I'll do that in a later video, but yeah. Now as you can see in there, the, um, he's actually awake now, we can actually talk to him, but we're going to do that later. Now I've also come in here and I bought majority of his skill uh, spells as well. So, um, as you know, you have to join the convent to actually purchase his stuff. I do believe anyway. Maybe maybe you didn't, but don't matter. But yeah, he's got no spells left now. I've purchased everything off him. Do 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 because I'm trying to get the um trophies for this the different spells now. And I think I've bought everything we need off him, yes I have. Apart from that ring. Like I said, I've done a little bit of grinding off screen. What I did was I just went back to Blight Town and started just killing stuff there. And came back. So, let's go back to the Chaos Convent. I don't think it matters which convent we're in anyway. So, yeah guys, on that note. Um, I did say I was going to do the Catalyst in this video, but I'm going to leave that to later. Not cat, yeah, Catalyst. Catacombs, god damn it. <laughs> Sorry guys, again, my words messed up. But what we're going to do is, we're going to see if we can actually go through um, Sen's Fortress now. Now, I don't really like this place. So, I'm going to try and do this as best as, as I can. Yeah, there is no set way where you have to do Dark Souls, I mean you can do it any order that you want, but sometimes s some places can be easier than the others, obviously, and um, I'm hoping we can just get through Sen's Fortress really quick, really easy, no, because um, the, catac the, the catacombs, <laughs> that's a little bit more um, harder, but we have to go through there at some point anyway because we have to defeat the um, the boss down there. I know we've already killed Pinwheel. Um, he's not actually the boss. The, the boss that I'm talking about is um, the Grave Lord, Grave Keeper, or something like that. N um, Neo, Nico, or something. I'm not really good on names. But yeah, as you can see now, um, the fortress is actually open. Now, as we walk in here, we're going to get two lizard guys. So, so I grow them. Now, the best thing to actually do is, if you want souls in that lot, is just walk to the middle there and hit that trap. Now you can actually backstab these guys. Which I did completely wrong, but oh. 
So yeah, we're going to be fighting a lot of these lizard people through Fury Up. That's why I wanted to get 20 S's fast from that. Bonfire. Oh, I don't think I invested that bonfire. Don't matter. Now, as we're walking through here, you're going to have one guy on the top over there, if you can see him. And you're going to have one guy at the back over here. Now, do be careful not to actually fall off here. So, we're just going to keep our shields up and keep walking. I think he fell off. Nice. So yeah, as you can see, there's down there now. Now we will probably be going down there at some point. I said probably because I don't usually go that way. So make our way around onto this part, and then we got another guy. Now this guy is pretty easy to beat. Just need to run straight in and attack him. Without getting hit by these. No spitting. That's disgusting, I bet. So, with that done, we pick up our item, two large titanite shards, which is nice. Now guys, I might switch up my build a little bit soon. I might go, if you guys are not already using the Drake sword, and you guys are already using the um, Claymore, uh, that's probably the way I'm going to go. Because the, the Claymore now, I think, becomes a little bit stronger now. Once you get it to like plus 10. So, that's what we're going to be... Uh, possibly doing. Now, there's going to be a guy in there. I don't worry about him because we're going to hit him with a boulder soon. <laughs> like that. Now because I've noticed that the Drake size is getting a little bit um, low on damage now. the flipping in. Sorry guys, but that's the way I was planning on going. How the flip did he survive? <laughs> oh, it's funny this game sometimes. <laughs> oh, good, we rested though. Anyway, oh, we don't, we don't have no souls now. We've got some sweat items, aren't we? Now, the reason why I'm not using the boss items is the fact that we will be trying to get the weapons and everything. So, you, um, some of the b boss souls um, can generate weapons. So, let's see if we can reinforce weapon. Uh, claymore. Let's see if we can get this claymore up. So we need two Titanite Shards. Oh, that's one button. I don't think we got enough. Yeah, we have. Nice. So, two Titanite Shards. And then make it plus five. Then we have to modify it here to make it... Uh, we can, well, we can make it whatever we want. We can make it a Divine Claymore. We should be good for the skeletons later on. Or we can make it a raw claymore. We're just going to make it a normal claymore plus 6. Just keep it as it's normal damage. 
Now we go back to reinforce weapon and it should be here in the list. Yep, so it's seven, eight, right. So we run out of souls at this point. So let's just check the damage on that now. So the Drake Sword is 200. Now the Claymore is 185, so it's, it is actually coming up in damage. I think you can take it to plus 15. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So anyway, let's just head back in. We'll just keep using the Drake Sword for now. I thought it'd be getting um, a lot a lot higher in, in uh, the damage region, but obviously it's not. Shoot these guys again. Right up the bum bum. Bum bum. This is why I like to fight with magic, not weapons. <laughs> so we're going to try and get across here again. I'm sure we've got a shield that protects us against lightning. Hmm, maybe we don't. Oh. Well. So there's our souls. Let's go ahead and pick them up. We don't want to be losing them. Right, okay, so. Watch it for that. And then run. Now, where we are going is we want to actually drop down there. But we want to get up here first. Ah, drop down to a. Don't matter. But as you can see, we have our good friend Sigma. Siegfried? Sigma? I don't know. And as you can see, he's already took out all the lizards in the area. <laughs> Just hit target to him. He's to, um, finish all his dialogue. That's it. That was the whole reason of dropping down here anyway. I do believe that might be a weapon on the top there, but... Wow! Nearly. So, let's roll back, and then let's run. Now, you did see a fog door here. It's not actually a boss. Oh, nice. Got open off them. And run up into here. I don't believe this is a mimic yet, is it? No. But there is a mimic in here. That's why I was kind of nervous about that. Okay, so let's just drop off here and pick up this item. Just make sure it's nothing worthwhile. No. Well, nothing for us anyway. But 
Go on. It should be. Um, it should be fine now. We can just carry on now. So, like again, we'll just wait for this border to go. Okay. We'll run to the first stop. And then up to the second. Okay, so this time we're gonna go through here. Very quiet. Uh uh. Now, this trap actually fires from behind us. So. Not Mr. Snakehead come out. Come on. That's a very good boy. <laughs> Sorry guys, I get so carried away. <laughs> so with that done, as you can hear the boulder is actually rolling around, but what happens is it's going to be coming in this way now because someone's just changed the, um, dial, uh, the direction. So all we need to try and run all the way up here and get in before it respawns. Oh yeah, yeah. Streamers look, I'm telling you. So we need to turn this again and send it a different way. Is it that way I don't want it to go? I want it to go one way because you remember that lizard that I told you were going to drop a border on him? This is it. It might be that way. As I think that's the way we came in. Yep. So we want it to go in that. So we're going to drop it that way and hopefully get some souls. This guy doesn't want to die. He's usually just one hit and he dies. Okay, so anyway, now we're going to turn it and fire it out that way. Like so, go. On. Right, okay, so now we're going to go in here. Now there's an NPC um, is the reason why we're going down here. There's an NPC that we want. If you guys have played the other Dark Souls, you know who I'm on about. It's the big, uh, big hat. Big hat. No, I can't even forget. I forgot his flipping name. Big hat Logan. That's it. So I'm just going to drop down. Now one thing I must stress is, actually, when you open the cave, uh, uh, cave, when you open the cage, actually talk to him. Now if you've got the master key, you can actually open this. Yep, he's going to go to Final Shrine now, and he's going to be our new sorcerer. Well, our new um, sorcerer NPC. A new teacher. So I'll pick up that. And that's it. <sighs> Lovely. So now we have to go all the way back round. Don't think the border's here now. I 
but it is here again. Isn't it? No, oh, maybe not. But sometimes when you walk back that way, someone changes it. Ah, I knew it was there. I just knew it. <laughs> but yeah, someone always changes the um, the rotation, the the way it's going. Son of a. I knew that was happen I knew that was gonna happen and I still fell for it. Oh well. What's done is done. So for the fourth or fifth time, let's play with these guys again and this time we already set off the trap, so now I do believe if you get if you're uh, struggling with these guys you can actually just keep walking back this way and they actually stop when you get to a certain point. Oh, when they die. That was his one. But yeah, they will stop when you get to a certain point. So, two deaths already. This is not going well. Do we have arrows? No. Just wanted to get rid of him as quickly as I can. Didn't want to be messing around on the. Take a drink. Shield up. So we are back here now. Oh, excuse me. Now the um, border is back here, I do believe. I don't want to risk it now. Just let's just wait a few seconds. Mm, maybe not. Careful with him then, because he will try to come in here and attack you. So, with him dead, we've got one more person. <laughs> so, he's dead. And let's move on. Pick up our souls. Now the border is back in it. I know it, I know it is. I'm just gonna stand there, told you. Now the best thing about it, we actually want this border. So let's go ahead and follow it for two seconds. Now we want it to keep coming down and um, building up here. Because what we want it to do is break through that wall. Which it will. Trust me.
Here we go. One more. Pick up that. Yeah, the gold serpent ring um, increases our item drop rate. Oh, uh, no, I didn't drop that now. Now we're back here. Now, this chest here is actually a mimic, I do believe. Yep. So don't be fooled, give it a whack. Now do be careful because they will, they will try to grab you and eat you. So take care of it like that. Lightning spear. I do believe we can actually take this back up, but we need to get off it at a certain point. Oh no. No mind. Yeah, because it'll carry on up and it'll crush you. That's that's the one. So come back this way. Now we're back to where the uh, border was with um big hat logging. Now that is actually a uh, shortcut from the other side, obviously. Right, so now we want to run up here. I do believe that is it for most of the items. There is one, um, let me just do this really quick. Let's push it um, that way. There is one more um, area that I'm not showing you, which we're going to do now. Now you see that soul item though, we can actually drop down to um, a ledge right near that. Where Mr. Snake Boy is. Shut up. Pick up that, and then we can go through here and drop down to here. A slumbering dragon crest ring. Now, I don't usually go and get that, I usually leave that. But since we're a mage and that lot, might as well get it. Now don't drop down though, because obviously that's death. Just trying to figure out where we get back now. So do we just roll back over to that? Maybe it is. Okay. There goes nothing. I do believe we're back at the beginning. Here we are. Okay. Well, with that done, we can move nicely on through the rest of the part of the game. I mean, you can drop down from that ledge and keep going down to underneath. But I'll probably have uh, not do that or I'll show you in a later video. I'm not going to be really doing it right now. There's um there's like two titanite demons down there. Someone's rigged all the traps again. Right, so yeah, the border's back. Let's get up here quickly if we can. Come on, come on, come on. No! I got stuck in the bloody one. Okay, so we're back. 
So uh, with that being done, we can move on to the next floor. Now just move quickly through this and then what am you? And more flipping. I hate these. So I think I need to run straight through these ones. I'm not too sure. No, don't roll. Go, 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 go. Okay, so there's going to be a snake guy here. No, no biting. You say you could have a nibble of me. It's kind of rude, mate. Knock it off. So, there's nothing that way, obviously. <laughs> do, 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 do. There's another snake guy around here, so let's switch to our great souls. Dirty puff, stop your spitting. Those, ooh, lovely. Two large titanite shards, nice. So now we're going to go up to the next floor. This is where things start to get a little bit trickier. So as you can see we have Yonmon over there who's going to be trying to hit us all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock him off the ledge. Oh we're going to miss that aren't we? That works as well I suppose. Okay didn't realise our spells were that strong. Okay, so this one I hit. <laughs> this is the one that I majority die on. Now the key to this one is you don't run, you just walk past the first two blades and stop. <sighs> God damn it. And go. <laughs> oh. Guys, you don't believe it. You don't believe it. So we're going to go this way really quick and pick up our, an item, I think. I think it's that way. Well, this is that place where he was standing, so. And then, don't go, on, don't go that way. So, up here. We'll traverse through here and we're going to be coming to our bonfire. Yay! About flipping time, right? So, what we do is we run round and straight up. Watch out for the big boulders, what these guys are going to be throwing. And just literally walk off the edge here. And there is our bonfire. Nice. <laughs> okay guys, with that being said, I'm going to leave it here. And um, I'll do the next part of this fortress in another video. The reason being is, we're already at the 30 minute mark. Now if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, your, your support helps me tremendously. Uh, my YouTube channel, well, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already know my YouTube channel. So anyway guys, goodbye for now and I'll see you in the next video.